Hey everyone, welcome to the next part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Cottage Living. In the last part, we got engaged. Woo! Now I've been reading the comments and you guys have requested that the lifespan in the Sims option menu is set to long because these Sims have aged up so quickly. It does feel like the game is aging everyone up more quickly. I don't know if the aging's been tuned or if it just feels that way, but I don't know, they're just, they're, they're growing up so quickly. Um, so yeah, I've changed it to long. And as you can see here, now there's 72 days until Meadow ages up. And for Huck, there's 69 days. <laughs> and uh, Shay, there's 49 days. So I don't know, I feel like this is too long, but I figured we'll just keep it on long for a little while and then we can change it back to normal after we feel like we've gone to a stage where we're happy. So that's the first thing. Another thing was someone was saying they were really frustrated by our cow plant, little Simsy taking up the path here. <laughs> so little Simsy is now over here. And then the other thing I personally wanted to do as part of Meadow's life quest is to write the simple living skill book. Now this book is meant to be unlocked if you complete the aspiration I think and max out your cooking skill. We have already done that and I still when I go to write um, there's no option to write a skill book. So I've also read that you need to cook 15 meals, lots of meals and we also of course have the wedding to plan which I kind of want to do pretty quickly just because I want to make babies or adopt babies. I'm so excited. Um, let us start vacuuming. Vacuum lightly. Oh, actually, he needs to have a bit of a sleep. You know what? Let's get you to go to bed and maybe Shay. Oh, Shay's full energy. So we'll get Shay to select this as a favorite vacuum cleaner as well and vacuum lightly. Meadow, who's been napping, love to see it. Uh, Meadow, we're going to go down here and start cooking some things. Oh my gosh, can we just appreciate Shay in the short shots? Love it. Okay, let's cook. Oh wait, we've already selected cooking for her. I'm a little bit out of it today. I do apologize uh, because I, I think you guys know this. I get really bad PMS. I speak about this like every month because it happens, but the last two days I was like in bed and I'm a little slow today. So just bear with me. <laughs> Yay, we got rid of that, love it. Okay, now the other thing was we have rainbow wool in our inventory because we were going to make a new outfit for um, the wedding for ramen. Oh no, do we wanna fix this or just, mm, maybe I'll just hire a repair service. We'll do that. Okay, Shay, and Shay had a friend pass away. Uh, I don't even know which, oh, it was Jenna. that's right. Poor Jenna. I mean, I feel like Jenna was a random friend. I didn't even know we were friends with her, but Shay's obviously feeling pretty upset about that. You know what we could do? We could get Shay to call the Sadness Hotline. We can say this is a counseling hotline. Great to raise awareness about. We have touched upon um, the idea that Shay has had some depression earlier in his life and hotlines exist in real life. I've used them before and I think they're great. So maybe Shay can give them a call. Did that even help? Let's see. Um, and as you can see, it is helping a little bit with the morning process. So good job, Shay. Uh, and it looks like this lady could do with some sadness hotline help as well. Okay. I wonder how many, how many meals we've made. I mean, I wish there was a tally or something. I, we, we can start counting from now on. This is our first meal. How can we count? How can we count? We could count renaming ramen maybe? Oh no, we can only name them once. <gasps> what? Meadow hasn't unlocked the ability to write a simple living cookbook on the computer. This book can be read by others for maximum cooking skill gain. Are you kidding me? I, what just happened then? I swear. I did not cheat that or anything. That just happened to be the most incredible timing that this was the 15th meal she's cooked. <laughs> so it looks like if you complete the aspiration, which we had completed earlier on, and you max out your cooking skill to level 10, and you cook 15 meals, you are going to be able to write this book. And I wanna write it right away. Get it right away, love it. Okay, oh, oh, ramen, are you trying to mate? Oh, 
poor Ram, and he's trying to mate um, with the with the bush. So he's a little confused. Okay. Uh, mm. Now, from memory, we have to go. We have to invite the new creature creeper over. Oh, he's wearing a romance tee. We have to go to him. Wait, do we buy animal clothing or we? I forget how to ask to craft clothing. That's the one. Let's ask to craft what why can't we make this one we need the rainbow llama wool oh my gosh you need two rainbow llama wools make by shearing a rainbow called llama well yeah <laughs> how did we make a rainbow treat we need a green egg a blue egg and an orange egg green blue and orange which means we need to do a fishy treat a pumpkin treat and a veggie treat. Okay, okay. So, you know, I I fully feel like we need this unicorn outfit. This is so important to me. So we need to give these chickens some colored treats. Um, I also need to scatter some food nearby because we want them to, you know, survive and not die of starvation at this point in time. Also, we did some golden throbbing or whatever it's called in the last part as well. So I'm very curious to see if it helps any of our stuff here. Um, it looks like some of these chickens are going to die soon as well, unless we give them some healthy treats. Buy animal clothing. No, we want to specifically make the unicorn one. Wait, unless it's just randomly there for us to buy. I didn't even consider that. Hold on. I need to go back to this. I love her little bike so much. It is the cutest thing ever. And it's really handy to just ride around this neighborhood as well. It's a bit sad he's wearing a baggie on his head, but hey, we all have those days. <laughs> oh, that was odd. Let's try this again. I should really get going now. Why? Okay, let's see what he has. Um, oh my gosh, I do like this little cap. I think that's really cute. We have the nifty sweater for cows. We have a lot of fox options. We have the amazing Technicolor neck warmer, which is kind of a look. Yeah, but no unicorn here. I might get, I'm pretty sure this is the only outfit we don't have out of these. Do we have the rainbow one? Maybe I'll get that as well, just in case. Thank you. And while we're here, we may as well check if there's any Arans we can uh, help with that might give us something like a upgrade part. Let's see, assortment of fruit, wool, and a piece of animal clothing, ingredients, fertilizer, and freshly prepared meal. I feel like it's so hard to get these upgrade parts. I mean, maybe we should be looking at the animals more to see if they can give us any gifts. Also, this paper bag thing is just not it, you guys. <laughs> It's just not it. Okay, Huck, how are you feeling? Huck's feeling pretty good. Let's get up, do some chores. Um, Shay, I also quit Shay's job because I feel like we just didn't need him to go to cooking work. He's now dedicated to working on this farm. Let's repair this. We also need to vacuum this one up. And then he's got to take care of himself as well. Uh, we'll need someone to see to the gardens too. All right, Medi, do you want to see if we can get... Um, gift oh no we've already found a gift from them oh hey benny i love benny so much i feel like we should maybe give benny oh you can't give bunnies treats can you mm, look at benny doing all the gardening i love you mm, maybe we should discover uh benny's gift preferences we've got to keep a really strong relationship with benny okay so he may he likes being gifted wool well we got some wool to give you oh and uh maybe we'll give a healthy wait which chicken was about to pass away because we should give them the healthy treat white oh white hen and cuckoo and fluff are getting old right Okay, just gonna give Benny a little gift uh -huh. here. Um, we'll get some, oops, some eggs, scatter some food. I think we just got some regular eggs, which isn't too bad. Okay, well, let's give White Hen uh, the green treat. So there's a healthy treat for you. Wait, is this a rooster? No, that's a hen. <laughs> I keep getting confused. Let's give you a fishy treat to get a blue egg so we can get a green egg, a blue egg. And what was the other one? We needed to give a pumpkin treat. Um, I don't think we have any pumpkin treats in our inventory, do we? Who's the pumpkin treat maker? 
Was it Huck or Shay? I swear one of them knows how to how to make these treats. Also, how about we give you the new little rainbow um, outfit and then we can give you the new little blue hat. Yay, cute. I love it when they all have their little outfits. It looks so good. Okay, I'm pretty sure Huck is gonna be able to make the last treat that we need in order to get the wool we need in order to make the unicorn outfit. It's a really tough one to make. Okay, we need pumpkin. I think we have a massive pumpkin maybe in the household inventory. Also, some of you guys are still asking if Jerry is in the household inventory. He is not, although we do have a random black hand. So gonna put random black hand out here. Um, Jerry is not in the household inventory. He never was and he never will be. Very sad, I know, but um, yeah, I didn't want you guys still thinking that I hadn't checked it. I checked it after the episode where we lost poor Jerry. Okay, it looks like we need to buy some pumpkins. Um, I'm gonna get you to weed. It's a real shame. We have so many friendly treats though. Okay, well Meadow definitely deserves to go to bed for sure. And what's this milk? Chocolate milk, oh, it's all spoiled. We probably should also go sell a few items. Uh, and also Meadow has uh, made a beanie as well. She knitted this tiger beanie off camera, which is quite exciting. So she can sell that on Plopsy. Oh, these dust bunnies. And I was also thinking that we should get a cow too. So maybe, once Hux completed um, some of this gardening, we can go get a cow. Okay, he's playing with the cow plants. Let's feed the cow plant, little Simsy, and then let's purchase an animal. Let's get a brown cow. Yay! Okay, so what are we gonna name this brown cow? Should we continue to name the cow Jerry? I don't even, what Jerry are we up to? Jerry the fifth? Do we have a, did we have a Jerry the fourth? I feel like we had Jerry the third, but maybe not the fourth. Oh, well, we'll do Jerry the fifth just in case. <laughs> Let's dress Jerry the fifth in the iconic outfit. <laughs> oh my Lord. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we'll give you a friendly treat too. May as well get this socialization up. And actually, how are we going with this, um, Aspiration. Okay, he's just gonna win a competition at the Finchwick Fair. Mm-hmm. Well, the fair coming up on Saturday, it's Tuesday right now, is a pie competition and a garden competition. We have oversized lettuce that is perfect. And then we can definitely get Meadow to bake a pie. Or Shay. Shay's got a great cooking skill as well. Uh, Shay actually has gourmet cooking skill, which is pretty epic. Poor Shay, it's still very sad. Maybe these two should have a little, um, a little woohoo. Oh, Shay is too sad to woohoo. Uh, so sad. Maybe he can just complain about his problems to Hawk and also um, <sighs> ask for some advice. I mean, what is a significant other for if they're not gonna help out when times are tough? I love complaining to my boyfriend about my problems. <laughs> So I feel like that's that's a good thing to do. And look at that, she's, she's feeling a lot better now. She She's definitely feeling a lot better now. Let's go for a little cheeky woohoo. There's nothing like a cheeky woohoo to keep your mind off of things. Oh, Shay. Woohoo time. Woohoo. This is a very green room, isn't it? I do like this room though. I think we pulled it together in the end. I used to hate it, but it's actually okay now. All right, and how is Meadow feeling? Having a good snooze? Well, I will resume um, when it's cock a doodle doo morning time. Cock a doodle doo, it is the morning. It is around 6 a.m. almost. And um, Meadow is a little bit hungry. I'm very pleased to see that Meadow is helping herself to fruit salad, not trying to eat lactose foods. Oh God, this toilet is broken as well. I really think Hawk needs to upgrade a few of these things. Um, so let's repair the toilet and then see if I can put another upgrade on top of that as well. Okay, she's off to check the chickens today. Now, I believe we should have got um, some specialty eggs, hopefully a blue and a green one, which is what we need to make the wool. And how are our crops looking? So it looks like these are all doing okay, but none of them are that big. Um, so I don't know what that golden throb thing did. Maybe it helps the quality of the plants, but not the size of them. I mean, it is saying the quality of these plants that we 
throbbed on, throbbed on, is now perfect. So I guess it, it upgrades the quality to perfect. Yeah, because currently everything else is kind of normal and these plants are perfect. Okay, so that's what it does. Uh, we got a couple of upgrade parts from the toilet. So let's see if we can upgrade this uh, at a superior flush. That might help. And what what is going on here? Is this upstairs? There's something leaking. I tell you what, looking after the farm is a lot of work. Okay, should we just replace this? I'm just gonna replace it. <laughs> and it looks like we can't upgrade anything because we don't have enough upgrade parts. So far, I am only seeing normal eggs for collection here. Oh no, they didn't eat the treats. Oh, what a waste. Dang it, we're gonna have to buy some fish. Okay. I, I have a whole heap of these kind of like one-off things for us to sell. I mean, to plants that I don't want to sell. So we'll hold on to those. Although things like roses, we totally can. And we'll hopefully sell them for a better price. Oh, pumpkin. Pumpkin, we can make pumpkin treats. Oh, I see. So we can't make a pumpkin treat because she doesn't have the pumpkin treat recipe. However, if we give the pumpkin to Huck, he should be able to make the pumpkin treat. Here we go. Okay, so he can go make that treat. And then if we put the pumpkin treat into Meadow's inventory, she'll learn the recipe as well. Okay, I'm just gonna wait until he completes this and then we'll head to the market. Yay, that's done. We'll give it to Meadow. I believe she, I thought she would have learned it, but oh well. And we should also harvest all of this stuff so we can also sell it for some money. The thing that I love about this pack is there is just so much to do. You, you, like we have so much to do every single day. Um, oh, we got a fish, nice. See, that means we can go make a fishy treat as well. Fishy protein treat, yay. So what was the last thing? The healthy treat, which we already have. So I'm pretty sure we just have to give these treats to the chickens and as long as they eat them, which they didn't yesterday, which is very naughty, we should get the eggs we need to make the rainbow treat. I'm sorry, Rashida, we, we have to give these chickens treats. Okay, 6 a.m. harvest a normal egg. I think we can change the harvest. Let, let's see, if we give you a, what? Oh, white hen is already under the effect of the healthy treat, but it says they're gonna lay a normal egg. Let's try, let's give the one in the blue hat the blue treat. Oh, it looks like our alarm's going off. I love this alarm. So good. Uh, Minerva, I'm kind of busy right now. I've called to inform you that your great great grand second once removed cousins, la di da di da, uh, under what conditions? Sweet, we got 2,500 simoleons. Love it. Eat it. Yes. Okay, so they're having the fishy treat. Still saying white hen's gonna have a regular. Let's give them the pumpkin treat. So white hen's having pumpkin treat. And then brown hen is also laying a normal egg. Wait, they're still saying normal eggs. Am I wasting the treats on them? Oh, once you give the treat to the chickens, that's when you learn the recipe, right. Animal party treat. Okay, so the last one is the healthy treat. Okay, that was the longest repair person ever. Okay, then you should have this and then we should have all of the eggs required. I want to make sure they eat everything they're meant to. I'm also going to fertilize these crops. We haven't even gone to the shops yet because I'm so busy just seeing to all of our farmland. I feel like the more sims you have, the better for this. Okay, finally we can go into town and get some money. I mean, we have to be able to pay for the wedding, so it's very important we get paid. Okay, let's see. Buy a mystery box, haggle. We can get 25% off anything, and we can sell items for a 10% profit. Love to see it. I also want to check the errands as well. Um, so I might keep the treats. I might keep the wool. We can probably sell three of the Birds of Paradise. We can maybe sell seven of the chocolate berries. We don't need this cooking book anymore. We definitely don't need all of these eggs. Oh my gosh, we have four hatchable eggs. Do we need any more chickens? I feel like we should sell some of those. Uh, we can sell these bananas. I might keep one of each of these vegetables um, just because we have the festival on the weekend. Um, so we can make a good amount of money from that, 2,000 small ants. I'm pretty happy with that. We appreciate your business and we appreciate you. Aww. 
Is there anything of interest to buy? And also, we should help with errands. Definitely don't need a baking book. Black beans. Hmm. Catfish. In case we are unable to to uh, get the eggs we need. Do we have a cherry tree? I don't know. May as well get some more flour. Can never go wrong with that. Oh, we can actually buy a green egg. That's helpful. We get some meats as well. Okay, and then of course we can't forget Ms. Crumplebottom over here. Oh, awesome. We can get an upgrade part. Sweet. Uh, hi, Mrs. Crumplebottom. How are you? Are you crazy? I'm already losing money at these prices. Well, I mean, it was worth a try, wasn't it? Anything of interest here? Chocolate syrup? No, no. Cowberry jam. I actually don't know what cowberry jam does, but let's try it. Fertilizers, we can get ourselves, so I don't feel like we need to buy the fertilizers. Plasma fruit, we don't have, but none of us are vampires, so we don't need them. Ooh, wolfsbane seeds. Let's grab those. Thank you for shopping. You're welcome. Okay, we need to deliver an orange egg to the grocery owner. Hmm. Looks like we need to make some more pumpkin treats. I might actually, <laughs> I might buy those pumpkins. Where's that pumpkin gone? Let's get that. Let's buy three of them and then let's head home. Oh, what? Oh, I thought it was happy hour at the grocery store, but it's at the bar. So false alarm, you guys. It's all good. Okay, we are back in town. How is Meadow feeling? I mean, she's doing pretty well considering how much we have done today. No eggs to collect at this moment. And I'm not gonna feed any more treats yet because I don't wanna stuff up the treats we've already given them. All right, let's put in some of these things so everyone can use these and they don't spoil from being in our inventory. I know Meadow is pretty tired, but I was thinking maybe we could go ahead and start writing the skill book. At least get a start on it because it's kind of not quite bedtime yet. So yeah, we'll, we'll start writing this very special book. And the thing is, once you write this book, other Sims can read it and they'll level up their cooking skill really, really quickly, apparently. I think I'm going to keep it as, actually, I'll name it Meadow's Simple Living Cookbook. You know what? Let's call it Meadows, Meadows Cookbook. And this is gonna become like a, a family heirloom. Like this can be passed down by like in each generation is what I'm trying to say. Um, Meadow, Meadows top secret recipes are hidden within. There we go. I imagine this is gonna take a while to write. Yeah, maybe if she had a higher writing skill level, um, it would be quicker, but not right now. Now, the other thing is we have to prepare for this wedding. So I'm thinking to finish up this part, we actually, maybe we won't plan the outfits. I think we need to plan where the wedding is going to be. What we can actually do is put this wedding arch in our inventory, or the other thing that we could do is go to a location and set it up how we want the wedding to be set up. So for example, I was thinking we would have the wedding in the Bramblewood, um, but maybe in the National Park. So we just need to put the arch somewhere and potentially some seating and that's gonna be our wedding. Okay, so this is where I was thinking it could be. Um, I know that they wouldn't want to ruin the environment or their community. So, oh, the, I don't like these plates. There we go, I'm just gonna delete that table. Like they want to keep it all very nice. So whatever we put here needs to be temporary. Um, and we don't wanna knock down any trees either. I mean, what's the prettiest spot? Maybe we could have the archway here. I'm also wondering if there's any toilets nearby. I don't know if there is. Or they could get like married in the middle of this. Maybe we could have the reception here and try and have the actual ceremony in one of these locations. I think that's a good plan. I think for now, I'll put an emergency archway over here as well, just in case we can't get it to work. So maybe I'll just put that here. I mean, it's still going to be very pretty anyway. <gasps> I love the red version of it. That's really pretty. And then, I mean, we could just have picnic tables. There's something nice about the, the picnic table theme. Or we could go all out and do like a long table, which would be pretty cool. I definitely want to go for like a rustic wedding vibe, you know, like something like a, a long wooden table, maybe with 
mismatched chairs, like Mad Hatter style. I'm gonna put some toilets on the block here because it would be a bit unfortunate to, you know, not make it to the loo on your wedding day. I just kind of hide it over here. I think it would be good if we could maybe have the big canopy over the top of the table. I think there was one that came in a base game update. I'm just not sure if it'll look totally out of place. Hopefully not. We almost need a wedding pack with marquees in the game. So then you could set up a realistic looking wedding. Ah, this is the one I was thinking of. Like, does this fit in? I think it kind of fits in. Yeah, I think it works. And then maybe we can have some lights hanging down. I think because we're going for a bit of a rustic theme, maybe maybe some jar lights would, would be good. Have those over the table. And then some like little lotus candles scattered around the place. And then last of all, I think what we need is to have some kind of music. And live music would be ideal. So we could get a pianist in. Now that, that would be beautiful, actually. Let's just hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> because this pianist is gonna get so wet. Okay, I think this is, this is really nice. So it's got a bit of a red autumnal theme going on. So lots of hints of reds. Uh, and yeah, I think it looks good in any, in any daylight. So there's a beautiful pond here. Maybe I'll move this fishing sign away a bit. Just so it's not like, wow, let's go fishing straight through the, <laughs> through the archway. All right, you guys, well, I'm going to finish this part right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Tag tag!